My name is Dr. Shalesh Kumar, and uh, you know, I started my journey. Uh, I did my undergrad in uh, IIT Varanasi in '95, and then I went on to do my master's and PhD in the field of AI and data science from UT Austin. After that, I worked in companies like Fair Isaac Research for about eight years in San Diego, and then we moved back to India and uh, worked with Yahoo Labs, uh, Microsoft Bing, uh, Google Brain Team. Uh, then I did my own NetTech startup for two years. Um, and then I worked with Ola Cabs as a distinguished scientist. And now I work as a chief data scientist at Reliance Geo. And I'm also mentoring the AI data science program at the Institute of Eminence. I also work as a you know, visiting faculty at uh, IIIT Hyderabad and ISP. So recently, Sundar Pichai made a very uh, important statement. He said that you know, AI is one of the most important things that mankind has ever worked on. And he said that AI has that potential as, as potential as what electricity and fire had. And I think you know, we are going to take another 20 years to really manifest what he has said. Because it is really true that you know, when AI is going to pervade all our, you know, the way we live, the way we uh, operate our cities, the way we consume electricity, the way we teach our children, the way we do healthcare, the way our farmers do farming, every field, whether it is uh, social or, or economic, is going to be transformed by you know, AI. And uh, in the Indian context, I think AI can play a lot of uh, very important role. Uh, because so far in the last 20 years, we have applied AI to mostly commercial use cases and uh, very, very specific use cases like building search engines and recommendation systems and ads and marketing. But I think the next 20 years is going to see a completely different kind of a use case of AI, which is social transformation, right? How do we do healthcare better? How do we do agriculture better? How do we do smart cities? How do we uh, reduce crime and uh, all of that, safer cities? How do we think about sustainability and energy and environment? So the use cases of AI will completely be different in the next 20 years than what it was in the last 20 years. And uh, especially in the Indian context, this is going to bring a lot of disruptive transformation to the people across the, uh, across the Indian and the you know, third world countries. Because this kind of technology is really what is needed uh, in the new world, which is made up of digital physical systems, where AI can play a very crucial role. So uh, the idea of data scientist as a, as, a, as a profession is evolving as the AI field is evolving, right? So what a data scientist meant in the last five years was somebody who can build, you know, models and deploy models. But in the next five years, you know, these abilities will become automated. Um, what we are going to need is what we call top-down AI architects more than bottom-up data scientists. What that means is, how do I look at a complex system like, let's say, the agriculture of a country and think about the entire ecosystem as a single product and then imagine the AI and, the uh, AI and IT architecture for that kind of a system. And such top-down system thinking, design thinking, solution thinking, along with the algorithmic thinking and the hands-on is going to be a new data scientist that we are going to need. And uh, you know, I think uh, th there's a lot of burden going to be on such thinking in data science. And hopefully in Geo Institute with the program we are creating, we'll be able to impart all these kind of uh, ways of thinking so that our students are ready for what we call the next generation full stack AI architect as opposed to just a data scientist. So uh, you know, I worked in the industry for a long time, for the last 20 years. I've seen the f uh, field evolving from you know, 20 years till now. And I'm uh, part of this transformation of AI, uh, AI transformation going on in the world in very large companies, including Google, Microsoft, Reliance, and all that. So I bring a lot of industry perspective in terms of what kind of a skill set we need. And uh, you know, so this program is designed in a multifaceted way. It is designed for making sure the core foundations are very strong. Um, students have a choice to become either a researcher or an entrepreneur or a data science modeler or an AI architect. So whatever role they want to play, because there are many types of roles that they are going to need to play. 
we have added a lot of soft skills like you know system thinking design thinking um, you know solution thinking uh, research methodology communication leadership and entrepreneurship so i think those kind of skills are very very essential because data scientists are not just somebody who deals with data he has to also deal with uh, society with the leadership with the engineering teams so and you know uh, create solutions at a very different level than just building simple models that we do today so i think we're going to create uh, we have created a very holistic program around that and uh, hopefully it will be very unique and different than any other uh, data science program is uh, you know uh, is going to cover the breadth and depth it's it's full of diversity if you were so it is going to cover the breadth and depth of data science we, students are going to have an opportunity to learn data science at a very broad level and go deep into some of the areas of their choice it is going to allow them to become either a product thinker and a solution creator and they can become entrepreneurs as one exit it will allow them to become researchers and if they want to do deep research and advance the state of the art or it will allow them to become very good data scientists who can transform industries through ai and data science uh, the kind of faculty we will create it's going to be a very good mix of industry focus academia focus and even policy focus faculty which is going to come together and give us a very holistic view on data science to our students and we are going to create many many opportunities for our students to learn it in a very industrial setting with reliance industries uh, very large scale data sets that are available in house uh, very real world problems uh, you know problems coming from across india problems right how do you build a solution for agriculture is a starting point and then learn data science so instead of saying here is what the tools are go figure out how to use them our approach is going to be very different we are going to start with here are the problems that the country is facing and now tell me how ai can help and this approach which is you know pain point first and work backwards towards solution and therefore you need to learn data science that is the approach we are going to take which hopefully will give them a much better motivation inspiration and and a sense of focus and purpose on why we are, we are learning data science and how we can transform society uh as opposed to just take so i think one of the very critical skill set of a data scientist uh, you know there are some soft skills that we need as we are learning about this field right so one of them is what we called a design thinking skill which is to say how do i talk to a farmer and understand their pain points how do i talk to a teacher or a patient or a person in tier 3 city who does not have access to hospitals how do i understand the core problems in society how do we formulate those problems into an ai architecture and then start to build in platforms and models around them right so that's kind of the approach in the holistic program the second skill set that i see missing is the art of communication right a lot of us are very good at writing software doing math but we are not able to communicate to the right level to the right person so how do i communicate what we have done to the senior leadership of a company to a subject matter expert how do we talk to them and extract domain knowledge from them how do we communicate to the end user and consumer of ai how do we build trust in ai systems and and make sure that people start to trust ai and all of that so these are a number of soft skills how do we think about uh, product thinking and product leadership how do we think about solution thinking and entrepreneurial leadership and those skills are far more uh, you know going to become important then just uh, you know what we do today and what we think data science is today and that's how we are going to make sure that apart from a lot of technical rigor and depth we are also creating such personality and attitude in our students so they you know they they are not just technically a data scientist but as a full person they are a data scientist yeah, so i think we have designed a program which is uh, which is a mix of you know uh, uh, academic rigor uh, hands on practice and learning from industry experts um, and doing your own projects right so it's a it's a learning by doing learning by listening learning by creating and innovating so we are trying to create a program so in a typical week uh, you know four days uh, we'll have rigorous classroom uh, education uh, along with a lot of hands on and lab time we are also going to have things like you know case studies from industrial speakers who will tell us you know how they are applying ai and you know a lot of industry lectures will happen 
We're going to have a program called Tools and Tricks, where we are going to give a lot of hands-on experience with live tutorials on real-world, very complex problems in different areas like visualization and big data and all of that. And we are going to involve students in not just learning, but also creating solutions and feeling part of that journey. So how do we take their models that they have built, their projects, and kind of put them out there for others to use, right? So they get a feel for making a contribution to society while they're learning what they're learning. So I think those are the different areas. We are going to encourage a lot of creation of startups within the ecosystem. We'll have an incubation center. So on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they'll have opportunities to do a lot of innovative stuff, self-study, uh, you know, interaction, you know, hackathons, all of that while they are learning theoretical stuff and, and uh, you know, creating solutions. So it's a very mixed week. It's not just full of classes and all of that. So hopefully it will be very enjoyable and we'll evolve as we get more. So we, we realize that a lot of us are learning AI in a very bottom-up way. You know, here are the tools, here are this tool and that tool. But a lot of us are not able to connect the tools to the industrial and the societal problem statements. And I think a lot of us need case studies to understand how AI is used in different verticals. So AI in retail, AI in uh, healthcare, AI in agriculture, AI in education, uh, AI in manufacturing, AI in telecom, all these different application areas of AI. Uh, I think once students understand that this is how what they're learning is applied in the different industry verticals and society verticals, I think that kind of uh, education is also very important. And that will get them excited about which vertical they are interested in, whether it's an industrial vertical or a social vertical. And, uh, you know, it will give them that kind of an exposure. And this is something that business schools do very well. They do a lot of case studies. So these will be case studies on how AI was used in a very important problem statement, like how is railways going to be optimized with AI, how airline industries use it, how Ola Uber uses it. And that will give them a very different purpose and meaning to what they are learning instead of, you know, uh, just learning tools. So that's the whole point. Yeah, yeah so uh, there are three kind of outputs that we are imagining, right? So one third of our students will have a very strong industrial mindset. They want to do hardcore hands-on data science work so they can join the big companies and become very good data scientists there working on very special problems in retail, telecom, what have you. Uh, one third of our students will probably want to become deep researchers in certain areas. So we have created electives in the fourth quarter for them to say, if, you know, see if they are interested in some very specific advanced topics. And they may decide that they want to do further research and they can continue their PhD programs or postdoc programs at the institute or elsewhere. And the third group of people will become, you know, entrepreneurs and through our incubation centers here. Uh, you know, GeoGen Next and the Geo Institute Incubation Center, they will basically, you know, be able to start a company uh, and do a deep tech, you know, AI first product company. And all the three outcomes are very welcome here. And we have created a program that is not a one size fits all, that all of you have to become a one kind of a data scientist. And that's one of the unique ISPs that we are trying to create. Give, let people choose the path they want to choose. And I'm sure more paths will come out as we explore. The, you know, we are looking for students who are very passionate about bringing solutions to the society. That's the first criteria, right? We don't learn because we just need a better job or more money. We learn because we want to bring change in our society. That is the kind of people we are looking for. And if you're passionate about technology on one side and its application to transform the country on the other, that is the kind of people we are looking for. Uh, and obviously, you know, some background in math, science, physics, any of the analytical fields, we are very broadly open. A uh, little bit of domain knowledge will help in any of the domains if you are interested in, whether it's retail, telecom, finance, any of the domains. Uh, and then we are going to take that raw product, which is the input to this program. Uh, a passionate person who has a sense of purpose about what they want to do, uh, and, you know, who are willing to learn and uh, go through a very rigorous program uh, and then explore who they are through this program and what they want to become. I think that kind of people we are looking for. And, uh, you know, if you are here, if you want to explore this field while exploring yourself and your role in the next five years, 
I think that's the kind of self-aware uh, 